with tonight, 62 to 60. Stephen Jackson is standing by right now, live at the Oakland Alameda Coliseum. Steve, this has been a, an amazing tournament so far, and uh, another fantastic finish tonight. Fantastic finishes seem to be the way for the Rebels. I can remember three years ago, they're down 19 points at halftime. They come back and they beat Iowa. And then, of course, last year, the game against Arizona up in Denver in the Western Regional. It just seems that they play this kind of basketball game, just as we saw tonight in the Western Region and in the tournament in general. They're an exciting team. They sometimes play down or up to the level of the opposition because I felt like really they should have blown Ball State out of this contest. But for whatever reason, they let the Cardinals back in the game, and from that point on, it was a game down to the nub. When it was all said and done, there was a lot of talk in the postseason, post-game press conference, I should say, about the final play. Well, exactly. We tried to get McCurdy on the drive, which I think Al Davis would have been proud of that play that Johnson made. We missed enough free throws to put the game away at the end. We, I guess we were three. We missed. We were uh, we were three out of eight at the free throw line at the end. And, had a chance to put it away. They had a chance to win it at the end. I, it was a, it was a game that we could have, we could have conceivably be given away at the end. I, once he, once he got it, I thought he was going to turn around and shoot it. So I just belly it up real tight, and he fell. And, I, and then at that point, when he was on the ground, I thought he was going to just try to chunk it up from there, and I was going to try to block it. But you know, we uh, we we played real tough at the end, and, and the guy tried to lob, and Dave was in the right position at the right time. My own feeling is that the Rebels are going to give Loyola Marymount's Lions more respect than they gave the Cardinals of Ball State tonight, and I think they'll play better basketball. They did not play a particularly good ball game tonight, but they played well enough to win, and let's face it, folks, they're still alive in this tournament. It started out with 64. What's it down to now? Eight? So this is a great Rebel team. I, I think they are capable of playing a lot better than they did tonight, though, Ron. See, they didn't show this on TV, but they referred to some sort of incident on the court uh, that happened after the game. Did you see anything? Brent Musburger talked about something that happened near center court. Well, I got to tell you what happened. Uh, McCurdy, who slipped and went down on that last play, was walking off the court, seemed to be talking with Larry, but David Butler, out of nowhere, was in the poor kid's face, shaking his finger, yelling at the guy. I, I don't understand it. They won the ball game. Sometimes you got to be gracious. I know there was a lot of wolfing going on during the ball game, but to me it was a very unnecessary scene that took place at the middle of the court. I can't say who exactly was at fault. Apparently there was also a scuffle in the hallway near the locker rooms after the game, but we're unable at this point to get all the straight skinny on that. All right, Steve, thanks a lot. You're staying in Oakland for a few more days now. Yeah. All right. Now out of the southeast region. This is important because if the